I have asked Mr. Lee Hsien Loong to continue serving in Cabinet as Senior Minister and I'm glad that he has agreed to do so. The bigger changes to the Cabinet lineup will likely happen only after the next general election. I stand on the shoulders of giants, and one in particular stands out, and that's Mr. Lee Hsien Loong. He has done so much for Singapore, especially in the last 20 years of leading our country. So on behalf of all Singaporeans, I thank Mr. Lee Hsien Loong for his selfless service to our country and lasting contributions to Singapore. The upcoming swearing-in ceremony on 15 of May is not just for me, it's also for a new cabinet. Um, for, for this moment, though, uh, there should not be any major changes because our system works on the basis of continuity and progressive change. In particular, I have asked Mr. Lee Hsien Loong to continue serving in cabinet as senior minister and I'm glad that he has agreed to do so. And the other ministers will continue to serve in their respective portfolios. In fact, some of them were just appointed recently, so there's really no reason to change. I will also look at possible promotions, as well as consider bringing in a few backbenchers to strengthen the team. So I will share the details of the cabinet lineup in a press conference a few days before the swearing-in ceremony. The bigger changes to the cabinet lineup will likely happen only after the next general election. In fact, I'm already in the midst of looking for new candidates, especially those with potential to hold political office. I want continuity because we should build on what we have today. We should affirm and reinforce what works well for Singapore. But I also want change because we should re-examine and refresh our current approaches and be prepared to break new ground in order to adapt more effectively to a rapidly changing environment. So I will want, in time to come, a good balance between experienced ministers as well as new members of the team who can add fresh perspectives to our deliberations. Meanwhile, for the rest of this term of government, we already have a full agenda to deal with concerns around the economy, jobs and cost of living, provide more assurance to seniors, families and other vulnerable groups in society, and to take concrete steps to realise our shared aspirations, which we have set out in the Forward Singapore report. General elections are a different matter. Uh, preparations for the GE is always a work in progress. The work to prepare for the next GE starts the day after the last election. Uh, we have to consistently tend the ground, attend to the needs of residents and strive to win over their hearts and minds. And I tell our branch chairs, our activists this all the time, we have to do this work consistently and do this work well. And if we do that, if all our branches do that, then we really don't have to anticipate or second-guess when the elections are called because whenever the button is pressed, we will be ready for the campaign. Oh.